Welcome back to a new episode. My name is Stefan from openschoolsolutions.org and today I want to talk about the top five open source software for schools. For many years we have been relying heavily on open source applications in our school, on the server side but also on our computers and laptops. Especially on the server side open source software is widely used and there are many great software projects that can be used wonderful in the school. Therefore, Today I would like to present my top 5 open source software for schools. Number 5. Koha. Koha is an integrated library system. It's used in public libraries in schools and other libraries worldwide. We switched to Koha for our library maybe 5 years ago. And Koha has so many great features. It's very flexible in its configuration. In the beginning maybe it's a little, a little bit steep from the learning curve but you will be rewarded with a very great system. If you like Koha, please check out the blog post series in the description. Next is XCPNG or LXD, my favorite software for our server infrastructure. You know, if you run servers in a school, you need to consider which hypervisor you will use or you want to use. And there's a wide choice and you can choose between several open source options. We decided years ago to use XCPNG or format was known as Xen Server and we used Xen Orchestra to manage our virtual machines and our servers. But most of our web applications, they don't run in virtual machines, they run in Linux containers. And so we use LexD, it's kind of a container hypervisor. LexD comes with LexC, it's like a command line client and it's very easy to use to create containers, to make backups and so on. And for me, the big advantage of Linux containers is that I can manage, configure and administrate them just like virtual machines. They are also much more resource efficient compared to a proper virtual machine. And since the latest release of LexD 4.0, you can even create and manage real virtual machines with LexD. Number three, PFSense. For me, PFSense is one of the best open source firewall options. PFSense is easy to install and also to use. It runs very stable on our network for years. With PFBlockerNG, you have also a very powerful tool to keep advertisement, malware sites and much more out of your network, um, so to speak, a web filter. It's based on a DNS. Number two is linuxmuster.net. LinuxMuster.net is an open source school server solution with which you can easily manage users, teachers, students and also your school computers and laptops. And part of LinuxMuster.net is Limbo. It's a tool from, Lim from LinuxMuster.net and for me it's one of the most important features because I can manage all our school computers with only one master image even if they have different configurations. So, if you're interested in Linux Muster, please check our video series about it in the info box. Number one for me is Nextcloud. Nextcloud is a very, very great software project. Especially in the last few months, a lot of new features have been added that are very useful in a school environment. Nextcloud is much more than just a shared file storage. So, if, thanks to the many add-ons you can adapt Nextcloud to your individual needs. Whether it's online, an online office suite or video conferencing or just simply a shared calendar. Almost everything is possible with Nextcloud. So Nextcloud is a very useful tool to use in a school. Yeah, and as a bonus tip, Zamat. Zamat is another great software project and over the last few years we've tried different solutions for our service desk or help desk and in the end we end up with Zamat and I like it very much and like all the other recommendations it has many great features it integrates very well into our existing infrastructure and you can create tickets through many different channels like social networks Twitter Facebook or email chat telegram other social messengers so it's easy for your users to submit tickets and that's what you normally want these were my five top open source software you can use in your school and I could include many more software here because there are so many great open source software projects outside please let me know in the comments 
What is your favorite open source software application that you use in your school? That's it for today and I'll see you in the next video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about open source software that you can use in your school.